Maria Botham owns a lice removal salon in Los Angeles. I found the louse on her already, and it's a, okay. it's a pretty big guy. And was shocked when one of her technicians found lice in her daughter's hair during a routine screening. Lucia started school a week ago, and I meant to do it like two weeks ago, which I really wish I did, but <laughs> here we are. A new study finds more and more lice are not responding to common over-the-counter treatments, including permethrin. So far, the drug-resistant bugs have been found in 25 states. Lice, as a species, has been exposed to these medications, so they naturally develop a resistance. Up to 12 million kids get lice each year, and parents spend about $350 million on prescriptions and over-the-counter products with permethrin to treat it. Doctors say parents should consult their pediatrician for the most effective treatment. If you do have a lot of resistance in your area, there's no use, reason to use a medication that isn't going to be effective. While getting rid of the bugs can be a nuisance for both parents and children, pediatricians stress they're not dangerous and do not transmit diseases. Guidelines recommend as long as children are being treated, they can return to school. Danielle Nottingham, CBS News, Los Angeles.